today we will see steps for creating folders and file using c sharp so we will create a console application and in the console application we will write the code for creating the folder and files using c sharp so this is visual studio 2019 i have selected this console app dotnet framework so double click on this I am changing its name. So we will create a folder in this location and inside that folder we will create a file while project is being configured so this will be our this is our working directory its name will be its name will be document demo and within this file within this folder we will create a file So this is your console application which we have created. We will import namespace. So we will use so we will use this namespace. Now we will create folder. So this is the folder path. So this is the folder path. So logiction is already existing. Within the logiction folder, we will create another folder in document demo. And for this, we will use a class directory. and we will use this method create directory so we will pass folder path here So now folder is created. Create file. A string file name.
so this is the file name which we need to create we will combine this folder path and file name so it will give us final file path now we want to write some content in the file so this is the data now we will write the file So we will give path and then the content. So this is the path and this is the content. So I'm adding a breakpoint here and we will start the debugging. So let us check the folder before proceeding. So folder is empty. Now we press F10 key from the keyboard to continue. Now directory should be created. So you can see under logician folder document demo folder is created now we will create the file the so file name is test underscore doc dot txt so continue the execution let us check the final file path so this is the final file path At this moment, after executing this code, file will be created. So let us check. Now you can see a text file is created. And this is the content of the file. So we have seen code for creating folder and file using C-Sharp.